This module is about qualitative research methods. By the end of the module, you'll be able to discuss the key assumptions of qualitative research and the measurement of empirical phenomena. Describe and evaluate a range of qualitative techniques suitable to be utilised in applied research. Evaluate the validity, reliability and ethical implications of specific qualitative research strategies and select appropriate qualitative techniques for particular research questions. This session is an introduction to the process of qualitative research. What do we mean by qualitative? Well, qualitative research is all about investigating social phenomena in an in-depth way within their natural environment and may take many different forms. It involves analysing how people do things, as well as how they construct meanings in everyday life. Its strengths lie in its ability to capture the rich tapestry of social life in all its complexity. Qualitative research places more emphasis upon words, whereas quantitative research places more emphasis upon numbers. However, the distinction between the two is much more than this, since all forms of research involve a concern with quantities and quality. Numerical measurement is not exclusive to quantitative research. The two tend to be underpinned by very different ways of viewing the world. Qualitative research tends to be guided by inductivism, the notion that one should not begin with a particular hypothesis, that a piece of research is designed to test but instead proceed with a more tentative approach. So qualitative research involves a naturalistic approach, where social life is studied within its natural setting. This quote from Norman Denzin and Yvonne Lincoln highlights the central concern that qualitative researchers have with uncovering meanings, how people make sense of reality and the assumptions that guide their behaviour. As Jennifer Mason points out in this quote, qualitative research can uncover the often hidden processes that underpin everyday life. Whereas quantitative methods tend to break things down into neat boxes out of original context, qualitative approaches allow a more holistic understanding of the ways in which meanings may interconnect. According to Flick, we can identify four key features of qualitative research. The first is to choose the most appropriate methods for answering your particular research question. For example, if you are exploring people's attitudes towards climate change in depth, then interviews rather than a questionnaire survey would be much more suited to the task in hand. A second feature concerns the potential of qualitative research to bring the research participants' experiences to the forefront so that their own particular voices can be heard. Following on from this, a third characteristic of qualitative research is the emphasis placed upon the researcher actively reflecting upon their role in the research process. Many qualitative researchers keep a running diary documenting their feelings and responses in relation to the research that they are undertaking, and this forms a source of additional data in its own right. Finally, qualitative research cannot be easily pigeonholed. There are many different theoretical approaches and research methods within the qualitative tradition. A fierce debate has raged about the merits of quantitative and qualitative research, some seeing it as having resulted in a fundamental ideological divide in social research. The following distinctions are often made. Quantitative research tends to emphasise quantification, whereas qualitative research usually places more emphasis upon words. Some perceive this as hard versus soft social research. Quantitative research tends to be deductivist, i.e. about hypothesis testing, whilst qualitative research tends to be inductivist, i.e. more exploratory in nature. While quantitative research tends to be linked to the belief in objectivity, such as social structures operate like facts which constrain social life, Qualitative research is often associated with the idea that life is socially constructed, such as how people create their own social reality through meanings. However, all research has a qualitative dimension and a quantitative dimension, so it is not black and white. Also, it is not the case that one approach is superior than the other. The choice of method depends on the aim of the research and practical issues such as time and money. There are a whole variety of qualitative methods and approaches. These include interviews, observation, focus groups, documentary research, discourse analysis and case studies. 
Of course, researchers often use mixed methods within one study. This can often involve combining different qualitative methods, or they may often combine quantitative and qualitative methods that complement one another. The two main types of data that qualitative research works with is verbal data, for example interview transcripts or diaries, and visual data, for example art, adverts or photographs. It is often the case that qualitative research is more exploratory and descriptive than quantitative research, but this is not always so. Some quantitative research is exploratory in nature, and some qualitative research sets out to investigate a hypothesis. However, qualitative researchers place more value on validity than they do generalizability. Thus, it is seen as more important that the data accurately reflects the nature of social reality than it is to be able to generalize the findings to the wider population. It is difficult for another researcher to replicate a qualitative piece of research and achieve the same findings, given that they may approach it differently and arrive at different interpretations reflecting their background and knowledge of the topic. More open-ended forms of data collection tend to be associated with qualitative research, which provides more flexibility and provides participants with more of a voice through often letting them directly speak through excerpts of interviews. However, there is greater opportunity for revealing potentially harmful personal information and intruding on privacy. In a very small study, it becomes easier to be able to identify particular individuals, even when they've been given a pseudonym. Qualitative researchers have a responsibility to protect the confidentiality of their research participants.